All right, welcome into another edition of Meet the Bird Gang, Brandon Ross, and we're going to go with another 2020 Firebird that unfortunately didn't make his way to Orleans, but still an A-class player and an A-class human at that, Gunnar Hogland. Gunnar, how you doing? I'm doing great. Thanks for having me. Thank you for coming on, and I'm sure you're enjoying the Florida weather. You're not complaining about having to spend the summer back at home in Port Ritchie, but uh, it's certainly perfect baseball weather year round there. No question about it. So I'm sure the transition to start playing was pretty easy for you. Yeah. I mean, I started at a very young age and, uh, you know, I've always played baseball ever since I can remember. So, uh, yeah, it's been pretty easy growing up. And so you grow up and you're a big dude. Uh, so pitcher is something that, kind of comes to mind with some of those bigger players, maybe first baseman, outfield. How did you end up on the mound? Well, actually, I mean, growing up, I played – I was a two-way basically my entire life. And uh, even coming into college, I was getting recruited for two-way. And uh, eventually I kind of just been stuck on the mound. And, uh, you know, I feel like it's my true position. So I'm excited. And you certainly did well this past season. We'll talk about that in a little bit. Uh, but you obviously have to get pretty crafty once you get to that SEC level of pitching at Ole Miss. And so what have you put into your repertoire? Uh, right now I have a four-seam fastball. I have uh, two breaking balls, slider I use mostly. Uh, I have a curveball and a changeup. And I know you worked a lot this past off season on refining that slider. Kind of walk me through how you went about that. Yeah. So, um, growing up, I was really just a fastball changeup guy, uh, just because the curveball, you know, you hear, Oh, it's bad for your arm or this and that. So I really, I really just focused on having a good fastball, being able to locate that. And then along with that, have a quality changeup and, uh, Freshman year, I I was realizing, you know, at, at this level, I mean, these guys are great hitters, and, you know, you need that breaking ball pitch. And I don't, didn't think I really – it wasn't where I wanted it to be freshman year. And so this summer I really – I mean, this past summer I really took the time and, I mean, just constantly tinkering the grip and trying to find this and that. And eventually it clicked for me, and it turned out to be a really great pitch for me that I could use this past season. But regardless, that fastball changeup was good enough for you back in high school. You got pretty high praise. You got taken in the first round of the 2018 MLB draft by the Pirates. Just how did that feel to hear? Oh, that was that was a dream come true. You know, seeing all the hard work pay off, and uh, you know, hearing the hear my name called by the Pirates. Uh, it was a surreal feeling for me and my family. So, yeah. I'm really sure it, I'm sure it was, but you end up at Ole Miss. What's the decision process? Because you don't see a lot of first rounders not signed. Were you just really set on college, or did just the situation go as going to Oxford was the best fit for you? Yeah, I kind of just took the draft as you know I I was pretty much set in college the whole time, and then you know the draft happened, and you know after analyzing the situation, I thought it was just best for me to come to college and develop and, you know, see what happens in three years. You go to Oxford and when you arrive there, your freshman year, not necessarily horrendous, but definitely not what you were expecting going in. Talk about what that was like. Cause the ERA was well above five middle of the road record. Mm -hmm. What happened? I just got my, I just got some more punches than I wanted to. Um, haven't we all? Yeah. I mean, it was – I just had to learn uh, a little bit how to pitch and, uh, you know, like I said before, you know, get a little bit better feel for the breaking ball and, uh, you know, just I think having that experience and then experiencing all that and then I was kind of able to look back and assess and then, you know, better myself for next season and I think I did that, so – well, you definitely did that according to the numbers. 116 ERA is the lowest on the team as the Saturday starter. You had that breaking ball working for you. What else clicked when you got on the mound this year? I just think I went out there every game, you know, I'm, I'm going to win. And I think that's the mindset you have to have. And, um, you know, I'm trying to put up zeros for my team and, you know, win the game. And you definitely did a good bit of that before the season obviously got cut short due to COVID-19. 
obviously now not going to Orleans where you were originally scheduled to be. But talk to me a little bit about the process of winding up with Orleans set for this summer. Coach Lafferty actually came to me and, uh, you know, I didn't know where I was playing summer ball. And uh, he came in and he, he talked to me one morning and uh, said, how's it being in – you want to play in the Cape? And I was like, absolutely. He's like, all right. And then uh, the Orleans Firebirds is your team. And I was ecstatic. So, <laughs> Did you get to talk to Coach Kelly at all? Uh, I was able to text, yeah. Mm -hmm. What's your impression of him, even though you didn't end up getting to meet him in person? Yeah, through text, I mean, he seemed like a great guy. And, uh, you know, he's always reaching out and uh, very appreciative. And, uh, yeah. So you don't end up at Orleans, but you do accomplish one big thing this spring. You graduated college <laughs> in two years. Mm -hmm. How did you do that? <laughs> uh, dual enrollment. <laughs> Yeah, that was it's it's uh I was I was a dual enrollment uh back in high school I did in my junior and senior year and I was able to get my AA degree which is about 60 credits so then I only had to do get 60 credits more for uh to graduate and uh I did that this past semester. And so you got that bachelor's in your pocket and you got another year on you you going for your masters next year I assume. I'm actually going to probably double major. So oh, really? Probably major in psychology. So well, hey, good for you. I'm, psychology certainly doesn't hurt to have when you're on the mound. So right. finally, before I let you go, what is this summer looking like for you now? I know it's not what you expected, but how are you enjoying it in the grand scheme of things? You know, I've been enjoying it, uh, spending a lot of time with the family and friends. And, um, you know, I think this is a great time for me now. You know, I've been, you have all this downtime and usually it's, this 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 never thing would never happen and so I'm you know really trying to grind and get better physically and you know give my arm I gave my arm a little bit of rest so it can be ready for this upcoming season because who knows what's what's gonna happen with that but uh you know just trying to be ready and you know do the best I can gotta find the silver linings where you can and I gotta ask you one more question you're you're in Florida prime question for anyone from Florida do you golf? I, <laughs> I I have picked up golf, yeah. How's the handicap looking? Uh, okay, so without even going to the driver range or anything, my, my dad actually sets me up on a – we go play 18 holes. And, uh, yeah, it was definitely not natural. So uh, <laughs> it was tough at first. But, you know, now I've been going to the driving range, and uh, my swing's gotten a lot better. And, uh, you know, I'm excited to play another 18 sometime. Well, that's good to hear. My dad did the same thing with me, but that was because we, we actually didn't have our ranges open yet. Uh, <laughs> so it was, it was not pretty for a few rounds there, but I think it's starting to get back on track for me. Gunner, get your golf game back on track. Have a great yeah. rest of your summer, and thank you for joining today. Thank you so much for having me.